Producers in some parts of the state are considering sprouted wheat as an option for feeding their cows. And joining us now is Dave Lumman, our extension beef cattle specialist. And Dave, tell us what you're hearing about sprouted wheat this year. Apparently there's some of it available in different parts of the state, primarily it seems like the eastern part of the state, uh, but uh, it's not uniform in its presence, even in the eastern part of the state. Uh, so the question would be then, you know, what is its value, and particularly for, you know, my, my interest or expertise would be relative to cattle feed. So in terms of nutrition, if producers can get their hands on some sprouted wheat, what kind of things should they consider? One thing they should consider would be the test weight. And generally speaking, it's gonna be lighter test weight. Um, if it's 50 pounds per bushel or above, most of the uh, studies would say that it's pretty good quality feed. Uh, feeds uh, much like, you know, 60 pound per bushel test weight wheat. So, so in other words, marginal uh, low test weight doesn't hinder or, or reduce the feed value. The second thing that they're gonna be a little bit concerned about is the presence of aflatoxin or vomitoxin. The fortunate thing about feeding it to cattle is cattle, because they have a rumen, have the ability to detoxify those things to some extent. And so uh, some of those uh, co-ops in eastern Oklahoma have found marginal levels of vom vomitoxin in the sprouted wheat. As long as it's under about 10 parts per million in the test, uh, it, it should be um, a pretty good cattle feed. Probably would suggest that if it's at the, you know, close to that 10 parts per million threshold, that it probably ought to be, only be included around 50% of the concentrate portion of the diet. And in your experience, the cattle seem to like it. They, they do. It's, it is very palatable, um, and cattle perform well on sprouted wheat. So it has quite a bit of value as a feed resource. And then if the price is right, too, we have to consider that. It, most of it would have been uh, discounted when it was received at the mill or the co-op. And, um, and those discounts are, are probably actually a, a, an opportunity for a cattle producer to take advantage of because it, uh, it should feed better uh, than what the discount might suggest. Okay. Another thing while we have you here to talk about is an upcoming educational opportunity for cattle producers, a cow-calf symposium. Talk about that. Yes, ma'am. We, on September 17th and 18th, Oklahoma State University, and particularly the Animal Science Department, is hosting the Ng Foundation Cow-Calf Symposium. The general idea for the work that that foundation is, is uh, facilitating is that land prices are getting higher, the population is growing, and so what are some ways that we can increase productivity of cow-calf herds uh, in light of those factors. Uh, but it's going to be an interesting, very interesting uh, symposium where we'll talk about nutrition, we'll talk about animal health when you uh, may be using semi-confinement, uh, how we can use a program like this to improve pasture conditions, better manage pastures. So a lot of interesting and unique concepts. Okay, thanks a lot, Dave Lallman. And for more information on the symposium as well as sprouted wheat, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.